What's up, guys? So, want to know why the Fairbanks Climate Action Committee uh, has not confronted the U.S. military, even though Eielson and Fort Wainwright are right up there in Fairbanks? Their leader, Jessica J. Gerard, is a war criminal. That's right. They are led by a literal war criminal who committed war crimes in Iraq. Okay? Jessica J. Gerard, if you look at her, her, and it's Gerard, not like Stevie G, but G I R A R D, Gerard, right? Jessica Gerard, the leader of the Fairbanks Climate Action Committee, is a war criminal, okay? She participated in Operation Iraqi Freedom. She is a war criminal. That's why that organization has not uh, confronted. Um, the the military industrial complex and the deep state presence in, in the interior of Alaska. That's why. You want to know who else is part of um, the Fairbanks Climate Action Coalition? Princess Dazarai Johnson. Now, Princess Dazarai Johnson has done some good stuff in protecting subsistence rights of the Gwich'in people, but I think that's kind of a bare minimum given that she is Gwich'in. But guess what else she did? She worked for the Obama regime and she writes articles for the NDN Collective, who took money from Jeff Bezos and whose leader, Nick Tilson, has taken money from George W. Bush and the Rockefellers. Like, you can't make this up and you can even Google this. Um, you know, if you, do, if you didn't know, and Nick Tilson even brags about it in his own bio, which is how disgusting that is. So the Fairbanks Climate Action Committee needs to clean shop. I know Jessica Gerard's going to leave at the end of 2023, but the fact that Jessica Gerard is a war criminal and she committed war crimes in Iraq, she worked as part of the nonprofit industrial complex in Cambodia. Um, you know, she's not a, she's an unsavory individual. And now she's trying to whitewash her record as an imperialist and as a war criminal in the name of diversity. Okay. Um so Again, Jessica Gerard can't be trusted, and I believe Jessica Gerard should face time for war crimes, and she should have to pay restitution to the people of Iraq uh, and to the people of Cambodia as well. Um, so that's what I believe. And and not only should she have to do time, she should have to pay restitution back to the taxpayers of the United States for wasting our taxpayer dollars uh, serving U.S. imperialism. So there you go.